Right, everyone, I'm uh, travelling at the minute, but basically uh, there is talk on the internet of uh, a comment from, or a, a quote from a Natori Ryu text, a Shinku Sunoku Ryu text, about ninja not being samurai. And it's sort of gone around the ninja community of like, oh, you know, I thought Anthony said ninja were samurai, and I thought this. And people are totally misunderstanding the situation here. So I'm going to now explain to you. The, it's said a couple of times in different scrolls, but one of the main ones is from Book of Samurai 2, which is in... Um, uh, I think it's Heiki Yoho, which is a scroll from the 17th century. And it says, you know, these people, Shinobi no Mono, Kokomono, they are not samurai. These are, you know, not bushy warriors. And people say, oh, well, you know, I thought, I thought they were bushy warriors and everything. The ninja community is looking at this the total wrong way. What they're doing, the best way I can describe how they're looking at it is like this. They're going, hmm, I've seen something this close. And I'm there. you've got to come back. You've got to look at it overall. And start going ah that's where it is so what we'll do is i'm going to go right i'm going to start from a different position and end up back at that quote and show you why so right ninja there are so many so many um, ninja manuals in fact sorry let me start that again all of the ninja manuals that we know so far appear to be samurai written except for from my memory one only one appears to be not from samurai tradition again they all have to be checked but nearly all of them have full surnames full samurai they're clearly samurai cow signatures we the world those we know are full samurai and the only one who's not believe it or not is fujibayashi asatake who's koshi and koshi means from an old samurai family so in historical context that even the Bansen Shukai, which is not a samurai manual, it is absolutely a, uh, you know, a, sorry, it is absolutely can't be said a samurai manual. It's a manual from a family who used to be samurai. And in the Bansen Shukai, it says, but this is our tradition. We were samurai, but we're not now. So even the lowest level author of a ninja tradition to, from memory is like, this is the ninja, this, this is the way of the bushi, this is it. You've got Fukushima Masanori, well high level rank, because I'm like, ridiculous. Natori Sanjoro Masazumi, not massively high ranking, but he is a personal samurai aide to the Tokugawa family. You know, he's like a proper high class samurai. He's not wealthy, but he's a high class, proper samurai. And he said, this is the way of the ninja of the way, is the way of the bushi, etc. So what, so to start with, every manual comes from a samurai family and even those who don't come from ex-samurai families who are saying we are of course we've got to check all the manuals but all of them have samurai names basically okay so they teach them in samurai school so i don't need to harp on about how much it's a samurai tradition but what happens is let's look at the history of the ninja you're all forgetting the history of the ninja or those who are sort of getting it wrong we know by about the 19th century that the ninja are deemed as like low never connected samurai the opposite of samurai in fact the ninja are the enemy of samurai when we were like what how i had to start 12 15 years ago saying that's not true guys because what happened is to, the ninja are samurai and ashigaru they're not all samurai but they are ashigaru as well and but they are all military men military men are being used as shinobi so what we find here is that you've got an array of everybody, butcher, baker, candlestick maker, up to samurai warrior, are using ninjutsu. Even thieves use ninjutsu. So ninjutsu is used by thieves and it's used by um, bandits. It's used by samurai. The skill itself is, is across the, the scale. But in a military context, doing military things, shinobu no mono were samurai or ashigaru based and everybody, everybody thinks ashigaru are like toothless like uh, no ashigaru are still military men going about doing their stuff you then get chugen and grooms and everything will get lower and lower and lower to the point where you're like you know like, mm, the bumpkin at the end they're still trained military men on the campaign on campaign trail but tokugawa ieyasu um starts hiring like is it 200 igamono but then he drops their status after they've done their jobs he drops their status there's a lot of anger about this and the next thing you know is eager and sorry oda nobunaga strips eager away and he puts in other people in their place that's why fujibayashi is koshi he's an ex-samurai because they've been displaced they're, they don't they're not samurai landowners anymore so basically what you find is that around the 1600 mark the samurai, the, the shinobi who are hired in the military drop from samurai to 
sort of pre-samurai or just below samurai. They're allowed to wear double swords, but they are not allowed lands and certain things, and they, they've, they've given money. They basically become hired soldiers. So they're still soldiers. They're not peasants. They're, like, fully qualified ex-samurai soldiers who are then koshi, which is what with the term we get with Fujibayashi. Then what we find is that they drop more and more, and we find by about 1700... They're just, they're like night guardmen and, you know, really, they're not peasants, but they're not full-on samurai. They're half samurai guards. So let me explain uh, where Igamono are at this point. So by the time of 1716, which is when the Wakayama Lord becomes the Shogun of all Japan, Igamono in the castle are given a special, special rank, which means when the Lord comes into the garden, they don't have to disappear. They are allowed there, but they are not samurai, but they are allowed to guard around the Lord because they are protecting duty. Now, when the Lord goes from Wakayama to, and, and remember, I'll get back to the quote in a bit, Wakayama to Tokyo, and he takes his retinue with him from Kishu, Wakayama. He takes with him um, some... Uh, families from Wakayama and they possibly now this is, this is the link where I've got to check are Kokomono and these Kokomono change their name to Igamono because Igamono is no longer meaning ninja it sort of means those people who can guard around the lord and they've got the hundred guards and the, you've got the, the people who shoot the guns you've got the Igamono and everything and they are all protecting the lord and they're given this sort of Igamono title and Shino, you know they're ex shinobi basically and they are families that may have spying abilities and they um, become the the secret gardeners of the shogunate which are basically Igamono but they become the secret gardeners now why am I talking about Kishu well this this book the the book of samurai was by Natori Sanjiro Masazumi Natori Shinkus no Kyu, is written in Wakayama now if you check the listings for Wakayama and you check all the history and all the museums you very rarely find Igamono they are there or roughly there but mainly you get Kokomono and that's why in the quote in Heiki Yoho it says Shinobi no Mono um, and Kokomono these are and Chugen these the you people use for thieving they are not samurai. Now, you're like, that's like, well, why is it in the Shonen kit? It says the job of the ninja is absolutely for samurai. But the same school says they are not. Well, this is because he's not talking about the old days. So we here it's divided into commentator one and commentator two and commentator three. So um, basically, the main text was written by Natori Sanjuro Masazumi. But what we don't know is who wrote the little small writing at the side. This is the Kuden. And you have multiple versions of this. There's like five of one manual, three of another. There are 30 manuals for Shinkus no Kuden, Natori crossover. There are 30 manuals. And some of them have Kuden in, some are just straightforward and, every, and you know, that sort of stuff. So what we find here is that... The original ones are written in about... Natori Sanjuro Masazumi writes them. We know because of a transcription date before the, fifth, uh, before the 1660s. So either the 1660s, roughly, he writes them. And we know that people in his school are writing down little notes somewhere around that time or afterwards. Now, this is where you have to really check the scroll. So one of them... I think it's uh, commentator one is a little bit after Natori's time. He says by the end of, he says the old men around him now are sort of like shriveled and all old and anybody who saw action in Osaka and places like that are really a little bit old. Commentator two says all the people from the warring days are dead. He's got no one to ask. So we know they don't date the manuals, but we know where well, that's why we've placed one at one and one at two. But uh, we've not done that for all of them. We've, we've, we've sort of adjusted. We've had to think who should be one, who should be two, because we don't know their names. So what we, but we do know that number two copies off number one, and that they copy down like that. So what we've got is a dojo in Wakayama. They're writing down Shinku no Kuryu manuals. They're then going, okay, somebody's writing the Kuden down. Then the next generation, somebody's copying the ku, the copying the scrolls out, writing their versions of the Kuden, but taking extracts from number one. And we've got bits like that, and we can see the traditions are going. Now, that commentator, too, is the man who says Shinobi no Mono are not, you know, they're not samurai. Now, which is 100% correct for his time. He is not looking at it like 
you guys are looking at it. You guys, I'm not just, you know, not everyone, but the people out there discussing it. You guys are looking at it as like, oh, Anthony says ninja are samurai, and therefore this commentator says they're not samurai, there's a problem. No. Anthony says in the Sengoku period, ninja are samurai down to Ashigaru. But as the Sengoku period ends and the Edo period comes in, the less and less shinobi are in the samurai class. They're still there, we've got plenty of evidence to show they are, but the more and more they drop into a lower Ashigaru class and a lower bit like that because they're just used as night guards and everything. So when commentator 2 in the 1700s says that Kokomono and Shinobu no Mono are not, are not samurai level, he's not lying. He's saying they are not, you know, because they didn't think, oh, we're going to be in the Edo period for another 135 years. So, you know, they're not, they're, they're, as far as they're concerned, the samurai have been going on for a thousand years, you know, or nearly a thousand years. And they will go on for another thousand years and 10,000 years beyond that. The samurai families will forever go on because they had no idea that the English were, and the Americans were going to come over and the French and militarize everything. They had no idea. So we sat there going, well, them days are gone, you know. He knows because he's read the Shonen. He knows that's the Bush class. But actually, it's nowadays like Kokomono, which he's walking. So this is where you've got to get it. When he's walking around his castle and he's like doing his like, Mr. Soft, won't you tell me why the world in which you're living is so strange? Name the advert. And he's like, there's a Kokomono. There's Bob from Coca. His family have been here for a 100 years. and But he is... A, and Kokomono, they teach gunnery, they teach sort of movement tactics in the dark, they do shinobi stuff. There he is, there's Bob, the Coca guy. He's not wearing the same kit as a samurai, he isn't a samurai, he lives in the barracks. So commentator 2 is not lying or getting it wrong when he says, for him, shinobi are not um, samurai. This is because it fits in 100%. I'm not even trying to, you don't even have to try and twist this. It 100% fits in with all the research we've done so far. In the early days, samurai ninja are predominantly samurai, or at least a high percentage of them are samurai. As time goes on and the Edo period enters and the world gets tighter and money gets tighter and we know that the Bansen Chuka is written and the uh, Fujibayashi is saying like, oh, you know, we need, um, sorry, not Fujibayashi, the people, the O'Hara family who use uh, Fujibayashi's writings, they say, we want, you know, give us our stuff back. And they, they present it to the Shogun. And that's why we've got copies, because he presents it to the Shogun. They give him some, uh, he gets given a cup and some pennies, which is silver pennies for their travel home. But the cup is also like a cup from the Shogun. It is a massive thing. Where that cup's gone, I have no idea. Would it be amazing? Nobody ever points this out. They're given like a small little bowl or something. And they go home without the employment. Nobody knows where that bowl is. How awesome. That's may even be in an antique shop somewhere where the O'Hara family somewhere. So let's uh, let's discuss that. Um, so basically, people have pulled out this quote and gone, look, a quote that says samurai are not ninja. That is not how you do history, guys. That is not how you do research. That is just not correct. I'm being polite here, but that's really bad. So what you do is you come out and you look at it as the timeline, you look at the problems, you look at who's saying it, who's, why, what, where, when, how, what are they saying? History basics. The commentator to be saying, around me, samurai, the, ko the kokomono and the shinobi are not samurai. They are not combatants in that sense. They do different things. And it even says they're used people. I think commentator one says used people. I'm doing this from memory, guys, because I'm at my mother's house and I'm moving, so please forgive me if I'm literally doing it from memory. Um... Commentator one is like, you know, use people who use thievery, bandits, anyone, just just pick them up. Now, this is part of the other teachings of Natoru, because they say when you've got thieves in your area and you're moving your military camp and thieves are active, go and send someone to the thieves, go and get talk to these and say, we'll pay you to thieve from them. So not only do you get money from us, you'll get money from them when you thieve, but leave our stuff alone. So that's part of it as well. So he's saying, go and use thieves. And of course, if you turn up to the local bandit camp, you're not going to say they are samurai. You're saying those who use thievery, shinobi no mono, people who use the ways of the shinobi. Remember, even a thief can be called a shinobi. It is all about context so if you don't put the context in it and you don't put the people in it and you don't put the history in it you're gonna misunderstand the quote guys so there you go so do get yourself a copy of the book of samurai and i hope that helps i'm sorry for the non-editing and the non-bits and all that i could have put lots of stuff on it but if you look at any of the writings then um in fact what i'll do is i'll, have, I'll put um a picture right either on the screen here or right at the beginning and show you the different 
sizes of writing. But that's it, I'm going to do minimum editing because I've got to crack on with my day and go out. So, um, and I'm going back to Norfolk tomorrow, guys. So there you go. So for those who were debating the Samurai Not Ninja, that is the explanation of why one person in the same school can say they are not ninja and the other person who wrote the school says they are uh, sorry ninja are samurai they are not samurai so you've got somebody at the beginning who says ninja are samurai shinobi morning are samurai and others who say they are not in the same school because they're writing a hundred years apart and one of them is saying you eat so you've got to read between the lines as well is sui sensei is saying samurai the fact that Isui Sensei says the job of Shinobi is a bushy job. He says that. Why does he say that? Because in 1660, when he was doing it, the decline in this, the, 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 and Fujibayashi is trying to write and say, listen, we are samurai. Shinobi are samurai. But by 1700, 1720, that generation has gone. Fujibayashi's died. Natori's died. And you're in a world where they're like, nah, nobody remember. You know, we know they used to be up there, but no Kokomono, no Shinobi out there now. They've got pennies. They've got hardly any money. Look at the, like, you've got Fukushima Masanori, one of the biggest samurai in Japanese history, writes or has a tradition of Shinobi. And that tradition, within a hundred years, crash dives into almost extinct and a few people who are guards doing bits and bats. And we know that. You look at um, Kimura, who's saying we used to be amazing. Kimura's own in the Eager and Ninja Skills, Kimura's stuff. Um, he's like saying, we just dis descended into nothing. We're just rubbish. We're crap. And he's saying that by the 1700s. He's saying Shinobi are almost gone they're rubbish they don't do anything they're terrible and we know by 1850s we've got a manual which is not published that in the 1850s ninja says all we do is basically walk the streets at night that's it so from high-end commando spies to lower educated lower class people who work as night guards there's the path of the shinobi go so that's what when you fit that sentence in there it fits perfectly yeah that's the reality of this.